Yeah, yesterday's stream was pretty fun. We we got a lot done. We played some Hyperscape, which was very interesting and, and different for me. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm kind of bored of this game. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I'm really bored of this game, dude. I have a little Excel list over here of like, should I actually want to like complete and shit? Like, I think I'm gonna end up going for a couple Obsidian guns just to make the time go by. But other than that. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is, man. I'm, I'm getting kind of bored. That's why I've been streaming a lot, just trying to, like, talk to people as I'm playing the game, because, like, I'm getting kind of bored of this shit. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm just gonna end up going for a couple guns of City, and the MP5 is my next gun. It's an easy, brain-dead kind of gun you can just do and, and not really stress out about. Also, with that being said, uh, as far as streaming-wise, I think I'm gonna be streaming Wednesday come Cold War Reveal. I'm gonna be streaming Wednesday come Cold War Reveal. I'm gonna be streaming next Friday, I think, for uh, 2K Battlegrounds. I don't, I don't know for sure if I'm gonna be doing anything crazy with that, but I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do come like cold door time i think i'm gonna stream the beta and i and i i don't know about the campaign and those i know i want to stream cyberpunk i obviously all these streams are going to be on youtube i think i'm just going to exclusively be on here i think it's just going to be a brain dead grind at the moment i'm not really planning on doing anything too crazy yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do as far as that i don't know maybe you'll even fucking see a stream later today from me i don't really know what i'm doing I get bored and i just kind of pull the trigger i'm not gonna lie i don't know maybe this is a perfect time to catch up on a lot of animes i gotta finish watching a uh, sort of online sort of online i want to finish watching domestic girlfriend and board so actually came out today actually everybody's been talking about this crazy matt hardy spot now let's be realistic for a second it's not aw's fault i'm gonna be i'm gonna be 100 with you right then and there. everybody's like oh my god aw how could you do this what is wrong with you like did you did you actually look at the spot you actually look at the spot because if you look at the spot you would very much notice that it's not aw's fault that was the the, the way the spot happened when they jumped when when uh sammy sammy dumped hardy off of the fucking uh the truck and went to kind of like tackle him to the table to tackle him to the table it would they both messed up it wasn't aw's fault all right that was a spot on sammy and hardy their positioning was awkward the table positioning was awkward the table would easily broke their fall and they would have tucked their head and i know again you're gonna look at me like what are you talking about but i've seen we've seen spots like let's be real for a second we've seen spots like this way too many times we've seen hardy do spots like this way too many times you know what i'm saying for, for people to walk around saying aw is irresponsible and shit yeah, i don't really get it i honestly i'm not gonna lie i don't really get it because it's like I, we've seen spots like that a thousand times we've seen worse spots like that it was just a mispositioning honestly it was a mispositioning by you know the, the wrestlers themselves i don't really blame the company for a mistake like that you know what i'm saying like i don't know i see people walking around blaming people for that shit now nah, i don't like that because it's like it's obvious it's obvious it's not their fault but yeah i think when it comes down to like story games i might stream a little more just because my tolerance will be like there for it like i'll be able to actually sit down and you know play it for you guys for hours and hours on end i don't know it's hard to stream when school is in i'm not gonna lie to you guys because it's so time consuming so it's easy to like when you can sit down record a shit ton of videos and talk about a shit ton of different things and then upload them as the days go so the other day i went to the laundry man recent events that I've been trying to take more initiative. I've been going to the laundry mat by myself and stuff. I know people are gonna say I've been doing that. And listen, all right. Some people, you know, gradually learn, you know, better and worse than others. A lot of people have cars and shit too, where they have, you know, laundry mats at their house. I don't. I, I have the laundry mat down the street. The other day, I decided to actually go to the laundry mat. You know, what I'm saying I grabbed a whole bunch of clothes, I stuffed it in my book bag, and then I went out to the laundry mat. Now, the way I fold clothes and put them in my book bag so that way I can have more space for this is I fold it. Is I roll them. A lot of people fold their clothes when they put it in a book bag, but if you roll them, you'll get a ton of more space to put a ton of more things in there. I wash essentials and stuff. Nothing's really too crazy. I, I sit down in my pajamas all day anyway. You know, school is starting, so I washed a couple pair of jeans out. I'm not dressing too fancy for, for school just to go two days in a row. And teachers, if you're watching this, I'm not dressing up just to sit on camera, all right? You're gonna see me in pajamas eating cereal every fucking day. But yeah, if you roll your clothes, you'll get more, you know, room, basically. So I'm in the laundromat folding clothes. I'm sitting here saying to myself, you know, I might as well get some clothes folded and stuff, you know? A lot of people just dump it in their bag and they'll fold it when they get home. I'd rather just fold it at the laundromat so that way I can just put it in my dresser instead of just doing all that work it is it saves a lot of time so i'm sitting there folding the clothes i'm getting the rolls good and when your clothes get out they're a lot more fluffier than they were when they initially like went in you got to really roll them so that way everything can fit that you initially fitted in there so i'm sitting there rolling stuff and everything and this isn't the first weird experience i've had at the laundromat but this jamaican lady walks up to me this jamaican lady and her husband i should say walked up to me and then the husband says to me he goes to me he's like you're really good at folding and i was like yeah i'm like i'm like yeah thanks and he's like oh, where, where's your parents and i'm and i'm sitting there thinking to myself i'm about to get fucking kidnapped man i'm not liking the way this is uh the, the way this is going he was like oh i like the initiative da, da, da. i'm like all right yeah thanks man you know I, I was just figuring he was fishing for you know he's giving me a compliment i said thank you he walks away i go finish folding my clothes then i get the pants out you know what i'm saying the pants are the worst part of the fold you gotta really get them in there you know he walks up to me and says your folding skills are great and i'm like thanks the i, I didn't really want to be known for my folding skills video games were more the uh you know the thing for the five foot four no but i was like thank you i appreciate it because i didn't really know what to say you don't really walk up to somebody in a laundromat and say hey your folding skills are subpar to everybody 
anybody else's. Like, you don't do that. That's weird. So we're sitting there, and he tells me about my folding skills and whatnot. He was like, the people that work for me are lazy. You'd be great in Jamaica. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if he was going for a compliment there, or he was gonna get ready to put me in his laundry bag, because I don't sit there and tell somebody there will be great folding in Jamaica. When you sit there and tell them you have uh, people working for you in Jamaica, I'm sitting here thinking, like, this guy's gonna try to take me, put me in a bag, fucking smuggle me over the fucking border or some shit and i'm gonna end up waking up in jamaica with my thumb up my ass i, I just i don't know i just wasn't ready for that I, I wasn't ready for that i wasn't ready for for what was gonna come with it i was just it just wasn't it wasn't looking too good kind of nervous i'm not gonna lie you know your boy he he's a he's a tough guy you know what i'm saying I, i've taken boxing and stuff but you know this is a big guy this is a stocky you know dude i wasn't i wasn't prepared if he was actually gonna you know run up on me. then he walks away and i'm sitting there like back against the wall folding my clothes and shit like i'm trying to make sure like i don't get fucking snatched up and shit you know now Every time I go to the laundry mat, I'm gonna fold the sloppiest way I can so everybody can just look at me in disgust. That was one of the most uncomfortable situations I've ever got in my life. I mean, I had a good experience one time. I don't know, one time I was folding clothes and shit, and some lady walked up to me and asked me how old I was, and I told her 17, and then she said, Just to see this, this is the kind of guy you should be dating, a guy who can fold his own clothes. And I was just like, Oh, I don't wanna be involved in this right here. This is, seems like drama. And I was like, Oh, all right, well, I'm flattered and all, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I, when I get compliments, I, I, I tend to make my voice a lot deeper than it is. Whenever somebody's like, I like your hair, I'm like, Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I try to show the uh, the top teeth. You know what I'm saying? Those are the best teeth I have. For braces for like two or three years, my bottom teeth are still kind of fucked up. My top teeth are perfect. So I just use those as like my, my main uh, uh, killers, you know? So that was fun overall. I didn't really know what was going to happen or what we were going to do after that. So that was interesting. Like I said, as far as the channel wise, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to probably up gonna upload every day, same as normal. We're probably going to stream Wednesday. I don't go to school Wednesday. So I, as long as I get my work done and shit before like one something, I'll sit here and start streaming for you guys. You know what I'm saying? We'll stream the Cold War shit and we'll, we'll get all that done. Yeah, we'll stream the Cold War shit and everything. Then next week, uh, 2K Battlegrounds comes out, and like I said again, I don't know what I'm doing with that. We'll find out when the time comes, but uh, but yeah, I'm a great folder.